On the back was the front, and the front was the back kind of thing. Oh, we're approaching. Train has been spotted. Wait. Oh, geez, we're coming up to another train? Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Oh. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel for a brand new game coming out of early access today, Train Life a railway simulator today's episode is sponsored by nacon and train life huge thank you for hitting me up and asking me to do an episode for today as someone who grew up having a bunch of trains i actually pulled them all out of my storage container from the closet i'm going to showcase them to you guys for today's episode but if you guys haven't heard of this game already it is available right now on steam make sure you guys go ahead click the links in the description box down below what i've been reading this game really does feel like almost a trucking simulator but for trains so i'm actually quite excited to dive into this for today I've always wanted to do a train sim before, and this is the first time that you're able to play as the driver and the company director. So there's going to be a lot of different roles that we can do on here, and I'm excited to dive into this game. Because it's coming out of early access, we do have a bunch of new content dropping in here. The GPS system has been overhauled. We have a brand new map feature redesign. We have new scenarios, which uh, sounds quite fun to be honest. Event system and new events. We have final achievements, vibration support, full controller support. So it looks like I'm going to have to plug in my controller for today. And there's also major content scheduled to come after the release. The Orient Express train uh free for all early access players here this is actually gonna be quite fun make sure you guys go ahead click the links down below i am very excited to dive in to train life a railway simulator for today man like i said huge thank you to nacon and train life for sponsoring today's episode so this should be quite fun here for today it says take controls of your locomotives and grow your railway empire by negotiating deals and developing your network right make sure you guys go ahead click the links down below huge thanks for watching for today and of course before we start dad joke of the day coming from siv michaels last episode he goes dad joke why'd the cookie go to the doctor he was feeling crummy Right, okay, that makes sense. I like that one. Huge thanks for watching. Leave me your dad jokes down below. And of course, don't forget to slap that like button. Okay, we're gonna go have to go ahead here, do the old Xbox gamer tag. Bam. Age, whoa, not 35. Relax, I'm 31. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll go with this guy here. Select company name. Right, I figured this was perfect here. Train Life LTD. We're not taking any liability for today, okay? If I derail a train or anything like that, it's, it's not on me, right? Enable tutorial, yeah, we definitely need that. I guess we're gonna start in, let's start in the UK. Welcome Bang. to Train Life in Europe, and As you near your graduation of the conductor's exam, we commend you on your dream of starting your own railway transportation business. Before you graduate, we just need one final example of what you know, and some time behind the throttle won't hurt. After all, as an aspiring employer, it's best to be a shining example for your future employees. We've set up this short course in Germany for you to refresh your skills and show us what you've learned. Start by familiarizing yourself with the locomotive's controls, then follow the instructions through the next few scenarios, and you'll be off on your own in no time at all. Take your time, but try not to derail the train. Oh, we're definitely going to derail this train today. Management will have my head if a fresh graduate wrecks our training oh, locomotive. Oh, tiny it is! Ooh, these are cool cameras. Okay, so we're starting off our tutorial here. Tr train control basics. Use right trigger to increase the throttle and drive until you're going 20k. Watch out, if you increase the throttle too quickly, your wheels might start slipping, and you won't accelerate as fast. Okay, that's cool. We're going backwards? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, hold on. Am I going backwards? Oh. No, yeah, we're definitely going backwards here. Hold on. Why am I in reverse? Give me a quick emergency brake. Oh, handbrake's off now. Let's go ahead and give it 10%. Of course, you know me, we gotta give it a little bit more than that. A hondo. See the tire slipping though. Crossing loop. We are going a hundred percent throttle by the way here. Maybe let's uh about to hit. Oh, hold on. Cross the speed limit. We're at 60. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit. Decrease brakes. Press down on the reverser, which we're pretty far, I feel like. 20%. Looks like 40% is the maximum there. So after I got this email about the game, I instantly had to go through and start looking for all my train stuff as a kid. And unfortunately, it was way back in the closet, uh, piled up on a bunch of stuff. Okay, quite easy. We have a coffee in here? No way. That's perfect. 
Oh, I see. Okay, look at that. That's okay. Heck yeah. I'm wondering. Do we have a wiper button? What is this? What is that button? Oh, it's a horn. Oh, I'm definitely hitting it. Yes. Stop the train before the junction. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Why is it doing that? I'm pulling it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it. We're going to have a train today, man. This is so sick. Always wanted to be. Go ahead, slow this down. And handbrake. Yeah, emergency brake. Beautiful. Wait, what's this dead man's button? That's the one that's beeping. I'm clicking it. What'd that do? Okay. We're good. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off these wipers, because obviously we don't need them. Oh, you gotta use it with the stick. That makes sense. Okay. Slowly but surely getting used to this here. We're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of uh, throttle, looks like it wants. Alright, we'll do that one. Brake, use the emergency brake. Directional switch button, where's that? Ooh, we got a little air conditioning, that's cool. There's headlight knob and cabin light. So we'll go, we don't even need that one. Cabin light. Headlight. Where's this directional switch? Oh, the directional switch. That's this thing right here. Bang, yeah, okay, I'm the best. Scenario complete. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stay. Name a better train conductor out there. There is nobody. So all the green light means that you can drive at any time, which we do have, so that's good. And we'll throw up a couple more pictures of what I ended up finding in here. A lot of them are the US Army, and I had some GI Joe stuff as well too. So definitely really old, really rare it feels like, uh, train stuff. And I actually looked it up on eBay the other day, and uh, they're not cheap anymore. So I'm glad that I still have all these and I can actually set them up. I don't know where I'm gonna do it because the tracks obviously you need some space, right? I'm gonna try to wrap it around something maybe. I think that'd be pretty cool to see the trains going by, right? If you guys have anything train related at home, let me know what you guys have. Maybe any tips, you know, anything like that that I should know about. Obviously, I haven't been playing with trains uh, for years, man, probably decades, right? So it's been quite some time, but I'm, I'm excited to, you know, try to get something going again. And I think the little one would love it as well too, right? So they're really cool to look at and just, you know, put together. And of course, I got a lot of, you know, extra stuff as well too for it. So I think it'd be pretty cool. What I would like to do though, is throw this thing off the rail here, if we can. I don't know if it's a thing, can we do it? Oh, we're going fast, hopefully, here. 54, I wanna see this thing pop right off the rail. Please. Look at it, though. It's so tiny. It kinda looks like one of the other ones that I pulled out. It's a shorter, stubbier one, but I thought it would be going the other direction. Like, I thought this on the back was the front, and the front was the back kind of thing. Oh, we're approaching, train has been spotted, wait. Oh geez, we're coming up to another train? Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Derailed. You have collided with another train. In career mode, you have to pay a hefty fee to continue after derailing or reload to save or try the route again. Okay. Okay, let's put this thing in reverse. Take care, sir. Sorry about that one. Definitely a lot more high-tech than the thing that I pulled out of my toolbox. It's just a red box with a zero to hundred dial on it basically right so hopefully everything does work it's always cool to find that old stuff though right it's always a trip down memory lane okay, we're just gonna go ahead it's not even my train so let's just hit the hundred percent oh relax don't worry about it dead man switch coming on let's hit the horn once more bang what a great day today on trade life important facility slow down or full stop before the station you're speeding yeah i know that see if we can stop it right at the end here. Yikes! Oh, I think I hit it. That's a derail. Yeah, sorry. Enter service station. In career mode, you would have been fined 10,000 euro? Holy! Okay, game mode. We have passenger and cargo mode. These are the two different types of modes that we have on here. Manage locomotives. We only have one at the moment, and we can purchase quite a few of them once we do get the cash to do so, and there is quite a bit here. PZX Bison, that looks sick. Unlocks at level 5, level 20. PZX Eagle, yeah, these, right? This game is so sick. A lot of different upgrades as well, too. We can upgrade the engine, that's such. Upgrade change. SG, oh, damn. Yeah, there is a lot to do on here. Locomotive customization, no way. We can put a water bottle. A thermos with some logo you don't recognize. Hard to get the cap off. Yeah, uh, sometimes they, those actually are. We have cacti. 
No way! I love this! 25 grand for the hat? What? I don't have that kind of money for a hat. Uh, soda bottle, we got a fan. Tropical sodas, one, two, we got a hat. Damn, this is so cool, the customization on here. Bobblehead, coffee cup. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Bobblehead two, orange juice, raspberry jam, what? Who would keep that on their, on the top of their train right now? For 50 grand, like what? Sunglasses, oh my god, there's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. Milk bottle, super tasty mega burger. Oh, we got pizza, pineapple pizza. Oh, I love pineapple pizza, man. Let me know in the comment section down below, pineapple or no pineapple? And if you're saying no pineapple, I am gonna be upset. We gotta go over to utilities. Oh, that's what we do, reverse train. Oh, that's cool, we just flip it. There's a locomotive up ahead, although you won't be able to see it for some time. Use the blocking signals to choose the correct track and drive past the locomotive. Okay. Hit the horn as we're leaving. Take care. Okay, so let's see what they want here. Is our maximum speed. We are going, oh, it's 20 actually is our speed we're supposed to be at. Sorry. My mistake. Um, and it looks like it wants me to go left. Yeah, it wants me to go left. We're going to take a left here. Pretty sure. We're going to hit it 100%. Looking good. Let's take a quick second and just enjoy the view on this game. Lower your speed or you may get a fine. It doesn't matter. The academy is covering everything. Got trees down there too. What, oh, what's this? Some paperwork? The coffee cup's actually moving a little bit. Drive past the third locomotive. Okay, we got to make sure we're hitting the right one. I think we got to stay on the left. Yeah, we're staying left. Staying left. Jeez, we're pulling in here. 81 kilometers an hour. Oh my god. Handbrake in three, two, one. Oh, it's good. Slow down to full. Whew. Scenario complete. We're going to the next one here. I just skipped into a new tutorial and they gave me a new train. Oh, this is perfect. This isn't the bullet train, is it? No, there's no one. Toggle doors, wipers, lights. I'm not seeing much here for requesting. And let's see. What, oh, look. A little fire extinguisher there, too. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just blow by the, uh, the stop. Next speed limit is 60 kilometers an hour. I guess I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go backwards, wasn't I? That's okay. We'll just take our time over this way and... Oh, it's because I went, I took the other cabin. That makes so much sense. Okay, yeah, cool. We're on our way out of here. Lower your speed, let me make it fine. I'm not worried about the fine, I'm worried about this thing actually rolling. And it's taking some hard corners. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely liking the graphics on this game. Pretty soothing though, to be honest. You're just kinda, you're out here. Rock formations. Now, we have no passengers in here right now, thankfully, because we are going 89 kilometers an hour on this track, which the speed limit is 60. Seems like we're going pretty fast here. Crossing loop, left or right. I guess we'll go right. I just want to see it just pull. Let's go, let's go. We do get a better view, I think, looking forward. Yeah, these are the views here. I, right, I like how we have this little cinematic action view here. Well, this is probably the closest that I'm going to get to actually driving one of these trains. So I'm going to just enjoy this while it lasts. And we're going to see if we can hit 100 kilometers on this thing. Looks like it's topped out, though. Oh, I'm not even full throttle! My goodness! Lower your speed. Make it fine. I thought it was going to say make roll. Okay, here we go. Oh, we rolled it. We rolled it, yeah. Congratulations, Engineer. You've Thank completed you. your conductor's exam with flying colors, and you're now ready to take to the rails of Europe without me watching over your shoulder. Don't forget, you'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. When in doubt, relax and take your time. But you don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, all looking to make a dent in the market and transport what they can. 
As your company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some of them to work for you. Just like during your exam, the cities across Europe are constantly in need of all kinds of resources and goods. And more than that, there are thousands of people in parcels awaiting transportation between cities. If you and your employees help out enough, I've heard that cities give the more accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend, but don't go repeating it, alright? I've seen a lot of students over the years, but I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting time. Take chances, strategize your deliveries, and grow your empire into one of Europe's greatest railway transportation companies. Okay, so we have our main dashboard here. We have our company, my train, employee list, my skills, fuel usage. Okay, so you can actually little R&D section here. Well, we have a train now in front of us. What the heck happened? Um, very curious. Oh, this is my train now. No way. Let's go. How did I get this passenger train? I don't understand what happened, but we now have two trains. Yeah, keep, right, these guys are just after my money, man. How do I get fog lights on? I can't believe this. We have another train coming up on radar here, 1,400 meters and closing. Let's see what happens, we're going full throttle. 500 bucks for no fog, there's not even any fog here, sir. Here we go, here we go. Coming at me, can I get over to the other side? Like, where is he? I can't see. Try to hit the left, I guess. Oh yeah. Track occupied by another detour. Oh no no no! Let's hit the handbrake. Yeah, first timer on this game, right? I didn't do half bad. I felt like room for improvement for sure. Uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, leave them in the comment section down below. Constructive criticism, right there, please. Hopefully, we don't have any actual train conductors watch these episodes. Uh, that'd be terrible. Huge thank you once again, though, to Nacon and Train Life for sponsoring today's episode. This game is out now on Steam. Make sure you guys go ahead, click the links down below. Just came out of early access. And uh, if you guys would like to play it yourself and get a little bit more detailed into it, I didn't really dive too much into the managing section. I just wanted to drive the trains for today. Get a little first impressions on that and have some fun with it. But of course, huge thank you though for coming around. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel. I'm out. Peace.